like Ferrari, you can do that. Very confident. One thing I had is speed. I'm definitely ready to show it. Have you got in practice? Uh, got to low 4 3 range, you know, high 4 3s. Uh, but I mean, tomorrow's a big day, so it's time to show it. Jerome, has anybody talked to you at all about potentially even playing safety with the speed that you have? Um, not really, uh, but I guess we're going to see after tomorrow, they're going to see how fast I really am. What's the biggest question you've been asked throughout the meetings with your teams this, with the teams this weekend? Am I big enough? Uh, I answered that with my weigh-in, 229, so that was probably the biggest question. So you think with that question, you feel like it's extra important for you to test out well to what you did today and tomorrow? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just come out every day and just compete, every drill compete, and you know, I'm ready to show I'm the best. How has your time at Ohio State developed you coming as a Cleveland kid to uh, represent your state now? Uh, Ohio State means everything to me. Um, it made me who the person I am today. From coming in as a freshman to now, it pretty much molded me to be the person I am today. So by, by your own admission, you were inconsistent last year. You didn't quite have the year that you expected. When you look back on it, you had a little bit of time to reflect. How do you think you played? Uh, pretty all right. Uh, not to my standard. My standard is pretty high. Uh, but I, I played okay. Definitely room for improvement, but my ceiling is very high, so I'm ready to find. Jerome, what was your relationship like with Cameron Williams for your Uh, That's one of the smartest players I've ever met. One of those times Coach Fick, you ask him questions. Uh, that's how smart he is. He's a very, very bright young man, so uh, we had a great relationship. We definitely talked about it. Have you seen him around here? Yeah, I saw him. Some of your teammates said that you've kind of seen him every day. Is that kind of been the case with you as well? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, if you go into the train station, you pretty much see the same faces. So I got to see him quite a bit. Do you have any other uh, contact with the Patriots so far? Um, yeah, other than sit down and talk to some of the former people. Uh, what would you say are some of your strengths? Like, what part of your game would really help in NFL? Uh, my speed, my instincts, those two can really teach. Uh, I bring those two naturally, so uh, those two things definitely I, I have. This is another year we see so many black guys here at the NFL Combine. How cool is it given to experiences with some of your teammates? Oh, uh, that's amazing. Um, just seeing guys familiar faces is pretty cool. We grind all uh, years past, and now you can see them at the next levels. Even cool, so I definitely appreciate that. How much do you think the, the combine, given your physical skills, can help you in terms of your draft style? Oh, it can help me a lot. Um, it's really just a chance, another chance to showcase what you have. And uh, I'm definitely ready for that. What is the last legacy that you want to um, leave on the, on the scouts and everyone to see like, how fast you are, but also your competitive drive? He competes at everything. No matter if it's a 40, the bench, um, he's a competitor. No matter what, he's going to compete and he's going to win. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the NFL is all about winning. And that's one thing I came here to do is win every drill, everything I do. So that's the one last impression I want them to have is he's a winner. Is this something that you've had circled on your calendar for a while now? Is this is an opportunity where I can really improve my draft stock? Yeah, I've had this circle since I was six years old. Um, you always grow up watching this, and it's actually time for me to do it. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to put on the show. Is it like hit you yet that I'm about to go play in the NFL, or are you still kind of processing that? Uh, it definitely hit me. Um, but this is this is what I've been you know, pretty much born to do. So I'm, this is another chance for me to show it. When exactly did it hit you? Uh, when I left Ohio State, I got down to Florida, started training. I'm like, okay, there's no more Coach Mick. There's no Urban Meyer. Uh, this is the real deal. So that's what made me. What went into that decision for you to decide that this was the right time for you to go to the NFL? Yeah, my family, uh, my coaches, and I talked to Coach Davis, and just pretty much uh, my internal circle. Uh, that's what really helped me get to this decision. So definitely most, thank you for that. Most draft projections probably have you roughly in the second round. You're gonna get is that what you've seen? What are your expectations? Um, I think I'm a first rounder, but wherever I go, I'm gonna perform. Uh, I can go to seventh round. I just know when I get on that field, I perform. So uh, when it comes to that, I don't worry about that. I worry about getting on the team and doing what I do. When you say you played all night last season, are you convinced teams that there's more to you that you can be the first round guy of the seventh? Um, 
they always say you just see the potential. I have so much potential. Um, I'm pretty much a raw, just raw player. I have so much technique to learn, so many things I can learn. Um, the ceiling is high. It's some things in my game you can't teach. You can't teach speed, you can't teach instinct. And, uh, you can see I definitely have those. Knowing how raw you were, did, why did you decide to go go into the NFL knowing that you were raw and you were still sort of like a project type player? Yeah, I'm ready for the next challenge. That uh, The challenge in the NFL is definitely uh, one thing I'm ready for. And uh, ultimately, that's what I you know, discuss with my family and my coaches. And they definitely agree with me, so I'm ready to do it. With Ohio State being known as linebacker you, how can you, uh, what lineage do you feel like you're bringing with you and Worley being in the draft? And, and what is that testimony showing about Ohio State linebackers? Um, Ohio State, we definitely LBU. We can go down a long list of linebackers. Uh, but me and Worley, just the, the new breed of linebackers, that fast, uh, smooth linebackers. Uh, and that's what we bring. We're fast and strong and just came here to rock. Who you remember about being got, around Kieran Combs and what's his intensity level like? He's, it's unmatched. Uh, every day you might think he's off coffee, but it's just natural juice. Uh, so every day he just brings it. How do you think that translates maybe over to the NFL? you think that will work to the next level too with guys? Oh, definitely, definitely. If you see a guy just with so much juice, you can't help but to feed off of it. Um, so it's definitely going to help you know, the Titans. And it's definitely going to be a good one. Did you watch a lot of Ryan Shazier before you even that, that was uh, the person I really molded my game after. Um, I seen him back. It was my junior year of high school. He played at Indiana. Well, he played. We played Indiana at Ohio State. I was there on a recruiting visit. He had like 20 some tackles. Freezing cold. And I promise you, I was like the only recruit there out in the cold watching him. That's when I fell in love with the player, Ryan Shazier. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all? Did he come back? You know? Um, a little bit, a little bit. I talked to him on my recruiting process. Uh, it's weird because very similar. He trained at IMG. I trained at IMG. Um, he's from Florida. I committed to Florida. Um, very similar paths, but uh, it's time to start my own legacy. Is he, uh, have you met with the Steelers? Uh, yes, I have. I have talked to him. Um, well, it's definitely more meetings coming. Uh, I have a, a formal meeting with him, so I'm definitely excited for that. Jerome, yeah. uh, obviously losing you and Chris from the linebacker core. How do you, when you look at what's coming next, what do you think that unit's going to look like next year? It's Ohio State. They reload. We don't really lose, guys. We just reload. Um, we have so many great players there. Um, you can go down a long list. Malik, Keandre, Barron, all those guys. Tough. Uh, he played with us last year. It's just another reload class. They definitely have it, so definitely excited for that. Pretty much any one of them. Um, they all can, you know, play great ball, but the guy behind me I'm looking forward to watching is Keandre, so definitely excited for that. How different is the role that you think you're playing in the NFL to what you did at Ohio State? Um, it's pretty much starting back over. Uh, you know, earning your trust on the team, earning your way, and, you know, just grow as a player from there. So I'm ready to step in and just do what I have to do to contribute. When teams say to you, we love your speed, we love your raw ability, but we haven't seen it consistently in one game time, what do you say to that? That's a personal challenge to me. Um, definitely, that's a personal challenge, and I'm willing to you know take that challenge and take it full stride. So, definitely excited. Uh, some things you can't teach in my game, and uh, definitely ready just to prove my game for sure. Another Buckeye linebacker in the NFL, Juan McMillan, uh, didn't get the chance to play last year. What, what kind of NFL player do you think is going to be? He was a pro back at Ohio State. <laughs> he, he's going to go in and perform. I'm definitely excited to watch him. Uh, so nothing, I don't expect anything but greatness out of him, so definitely excited. For us in Miami, who may not know him totally well, can, what, can, can you tell me about him, but he's like, as, a, as a guy or a uh, player that really stands out, makes him unique? He's an old school Georgia linebacker, with that laid back personality, um, tough, physical, big, can run. Um, you're just getting a real pro out of him. And, uh, he's definitely a leader, he's definitely a guy that you want to follow. Should be definitely great inside. Do you have any example of when you talk about his leadership and what pro he is? Have any, any example that, that maybe um, his, his routine was unmatched. Um, he definitely taught me when I, when I was there to really you know, establish a routine. Uh, he definitely he even got up on me. Um, there's been times where I looked, the one star I was telling was at Wisconsin my sophomore year, and I was so nervous. And I'm looking around, he was like, dude, just relax, play football. Um, 
That's what's up. You're just getting a great leader, a great person, and a great football player. Hey, Jerome, for you and Chris to both be representing Cleveland and Northeast Ohio, too, have you guys talked about that? What does that mean to you guys to not only come from Ohio State as linebackers? but Yeah, we, we talk about that all the time. Uh, even Leonard Fletcher, he's here. Uh, we talked about that, and uh, that's what we do from Cleveland. If we're from Cleveland, we stick together, and uh, you definitely got to represent Cleveland the right way. So that's what we came here to do. And then Denzel tomorrow, I mean, there's there there's, seems like there's plenty of uh, – Ohio State kids who came from Cleveland that have, that have showed out at the Combine. Uh, what does that mean, that pipeline that's showed up here in Indianapolis? I don't know. Maybe it's in the water or something like that. But uh, Cleveland, we just produce, produce, produce. And um, definitely excited to see Denzel run and perform. And, uh, you know, Cleveland guys, we just came here to perform and do what we do. We've been trying to tell the world Ohio versus everybody, but I guess we're going to have to show it every time. Appreciate it.